In this video I'll be giving you information for the internal workings of your Sieg X2 speed controller and control panel. I'd like to warn you that messing in these boxes could be potentially dangerous and potentially harmful to your machine. If you understand this as a disclaimer before attempting to open either of these units then you may continue to watch the tutorial and make use of this information. There are potential high voltages of your mains, current, etc. Okay. First of all we'll start with the controller box. You've got um, the variable resistor which is used to increase and decrease your spindle speed. You've got the illuminator, that will probably have the potential of your mains current, depending on which country you're in, either 110 volts AC or 220 volts AC. You'll have your fuse which will be on the mains supply side. By the looks of it, the emergency stop um, cuts in or cuts out your mains supply. Yeah, okay. You've got LED1, which is um, when your machine has been um, shut down because either the spindle has been jammed or you've taken up um, the speed too fast on the spindle. If you quickly whip that up when you first turn it on you'll notice that it trips it out and that will come on. Okay. Okay there's the internals. Okay. The variable resistor is 4.7k. On the back of it the terminals marked as K1 and K2. Those are switching um, the supply voltage on and off to the machine. You've then also got your other three terminals P1, P2, P3. P1 it goes to ground. P2 will be the output voltage which will be 0 to 7 volts. P3 is the input voltage which will be 7 volts, so I'll show you that in a moment in the other controller. Okay. Right. Moving around to the main control box that's got the circuit board in it. so that you can see it. Good. Let's grab the torch. Okay, let's try and get this so that you can actually Okay, starting from the right. The furthest right is Earth, then followed by Earth again. The next two, I think, have the mains potential on them. The next two after that, which are both marked with A, go to your 250 volt DC motor. Um, the blue one will have zero volts. The brown one will have anywhere from 0 to 250 volts DC, depending on your current setting on the spindle controller. Okay, moving across further, we're now on to the sets of terminal, the, the left hand set of terminal blocks, which is a block of eight terminals. Starting from the furthest right, we have K1 and K2 
I haven't looked into what they're doing, um, so no need to document those really. We then have P1, as mentioned before. P1 will be ground. P2 is the output from the potentiometer on the front, i.e. the, the variable, which was uh, 4.7k. Pin 3 is the source voltage which is being put through the potentiometer. This can be adjusted by adjusting R3 which can be seen there up in the top left of the picture. So, sorry, of the photo. Okay, that's adjustable from approximately 3.7 volts all the way up to 11.85 volts DC that should be set for an output voltage of 7 volts the way that um, you would um, measure that is you would connect your multimeter up to P1 which would be your black um, ground side and P3 which would be which would give you the output of that reference point um, turning it anti-clockwise reduces the voltage clockwise increases the voltage okay um, this is on the XMT2335 speed controller if you wished to link up a computer controlled spindle controller into this box you would um, disconnect P1 and P2 from your potentiometer and you would link the speed controller into there uh, for example a C6 board available from CNC to PC um, what else can I mention in this video? I think that's pretty much it. Um, for those that haven't seen inside their controller box, let's see if I try and give you a bit of a bit of view. A few pteroids. Um, not sure if those are voltage regs or. MOSFETs or chopper transistors etc, I'm not sure. Um, remember the yellow LED one on the front of the box, the other end of that cable is here, the red and black cable drops down to there. It's plugged in at the bottom left hand corner. Um, so that's that then really. Hope somebody found this video useful.